Oh, dude. I got a text message from one of my, one of my buddies. Say, hey, dude. He said, see, man, dude, you got to check this shit out. This is good. Yeah, Rick was up here, and PDF came out there, and, and Nava came out there and said, man, kind of, I say, anybody else? Like, yeah, huh, huh, huh. oh, Huckleberry? Oh, I say, oh, yeah. So, yeah, let's scroll back in the chat for a little bit. Yeah, Navin up there, PDF, Just Sweet. Okay. Let's see here. Northern Trail Dog. This channel is called the Joker's Channel. I don't know who he is. But what for me? Albert Mel. Okay. We'll let it roll for a little bit. Navin never answers Huck's questions. Crazy, isn't it? But then again, Navin knows everything about my house in Florida, even though he's never set foot on my property. Another crazy fact. Somebody who's never, ever set foot on my property knows more about it than I do. Crazy. Oh, yeah. What the hell am I it's looking party at? time. Who's this? Who that? All I see is a hairball. That's Ricky, you idiot. Uh, is it? Is that Rick? Oh, that ain't Rick. Rick, that fuck Rick. Yes, Tonic is a rapist. He doesn't like him. And here we go. So call that everywhere you go. Jesus, Rick. Well, Lisa B, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Fuck, fuck you, Rick. Don't come up here and start shit with me. No, it's not. It's Paul. Hey, uh, Kelly, why did you fucking post up that fucking text that I just sent you? I showed her because she said that you wasn't... That had nothing to do with Lisa B. That was me showing you what Two-Face, Allie, and GR8 are. What do you mean? What, 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 what do you mean? I read it right. Lisa was the only one that told me, hey, dude, they were bored. They were calling you just to fuck with you. That was GR8 and Allie. Lisa had nothing to do with that. I was trying to show you that Lisa had enough balls in class to tell me, hey, dude, they're playing you. I didn't think Lisa had anything to do with it from begin with. No, she does, she had nothing to do with it, but she's mad at me because I didn't snap and I sent you that text to show you, hey, look, look at the bullshit that GRA and Allie are doing. No, it's them. Because when Lisa, when somebody first said something to Lisa, you could tell that she didn't know what was going on. No. She was just finding out about it. I don't think that Lisa mm. ever had anything to do with it. Because as you know, Ricky, we talked to mm. Allie on the freeway. And Allie mm -hmm. said she hadn't talked to Lisa. And then right after that is when Great Yazoo and them started doing that shit. Mm -hmm. After we, Allie had just told us to our face that she hadn't talked to Lisa. And then oh, right after she, that. She just said the other day, oh, I haven't, talked, I haven't talked to GR8 in weeks. Well, we know that's a lie. No, nah, it's, I think she talks to Great Yazoo. I don't think she talks to Lisa. No, she but doesn't she talk to Lisa. And their timing was horrible because it was not maybe a day or two later that we said something to Lisa. And Lisa, you could tell she didn't know what we were talking about. Right, yeah. Lisa didn't know what the fuck we were talking about. Oh. And Allie had just mm -hmm. told us that she don't talk to Lisa. No, no, here's the thing. Lisa had no part of uh, the, uh, the little bullshit last night. What did they do last night? This week. Dude, that's what I was sending you the text. Oh, GRA, GRA and, and Allie were calling me at, I don't know, 12, 1 o'clock at night. And they kept calling and calling and calling. And I asked Lisa, hey, what's the deal? Why y'all calling me so late at night? She said, Rick, I had nothing to do with that. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. They were just fooling around, bored, and just wanted to fuck with you. Really? And everybody and their mama knew that you weren't feeling good. Um, I, I, dude, I put a bit, I'm still not feeling good. Because we were all in my Discord. Everybody asking how you were doing. There's only a few, a handful of people that actually called me to see if, or text me to see how I was doing. I'm not going to put their names out. Uh, but 
I'm still, go look at the fucking video I just put out, not even 20 minutes, I'm still, dude, I'm in a lot of goddamn pain, oh, I, dude, I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Ain't no, ain't no porn of them. Ain't no porn involved with anybody. You're, you're, you're cool. I flipped it and put it in Discord. It says that Ricky is not good. No, I don't feel good. Knew that you weren't feeling good. Did you see? Did y'all see how bad my hands were fucking yesterday, yeah. dude? I couldn't, I couldn't even stretch them out. Now it's a little bit better. I can stretch them out, but I've been, I've been laying here in bed all oh, night. No, I can't even get up, dude. I feel so fucking weak. I showed up to Mister. He's like, "Oh, he don't look too good." Yeah, maybe Mister will buy me some food. Hey, uh, Navin. So uh, today's your lucky day, yeah. since well, no, <laughs> I, I'm still a man. I can still get it up. But today would yeah, you look like a real man day. yesterday. You look like a dying man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got news for you. All seriousness, I got some bad news for you, Rick. Real bad news. I saw I saw the little uh, song and dance that you did for that. Rebuilding together, Houston guy that came by. You put on that little fake little act like you're dying and shit. Well, I got news for you. I contacted him and I told him you don't own the house outright. It's it's partly under Hector Cruz estate. You don't own the house outright. You can't get you know you don't qualify for that assistance. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so you lose. So Nabel, if you did that, if you did that, you just wow. Me. And I guarantee. Yep. That, uh, Sorry, no, I helped somebody who actually needed it. I helped somebody who actually needed it, who's qualified. Re re record this shit because I have to help my Nabel's friends. I, I don't care. I have your friends now, Nabel. That's fine. So I'm gonna help all your so friends. Bad. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Right. It's there's qualifications. That, there's criteria. You don't meet the criteria, buddy. Remember I Maven. said that, Navin. Maven. Sorry, did buddy. you know you just committed a crime in Texas? No, I didn't. What crime? Yes, I'm going to help all Navin. I, I stated facts. I stated facts. The criteria is on their website. Because number one, rebuilding Houston already knows that. Oh my God, so I'm if you did contact it. him, all right, you just committed a crime. Oh, by the what way, crime did I commit? Contact, yeah, name the crime. Why don't you contact, why don't you contact the insurance? All right, because I'm getting a new ramp built, and I'm also getting a brand new AC, a window AC. So go contact big, them. What do you want, a cookie? You got free shit. Big deal. Okay. So number one. What crime did I commit? 25%. Yeah, so 25%. Sad. 25% is uh, what Hector Cruz owns. I own 75%. Doesn't matter. It says it says on the website the criteria is you have to be entirely sole owner of the property. There's okay. other the website. There's other organizations that'll help. Uh, sorry, buddy. But you know what? It goes to show what chicken shit he is. And I'm going to tell you right now, no, David. There's people who actually need the money and making sure there's a more, it's limited Marty, amounts of money. Marty and that whole group are looking up. And they're looking up Katie's fucking information. They yep. found a little stupid fucking video that she did for a month. I guarantee you, brother. I guarantee you. You seem upset, Rick. Why are you upset? Hey, look, if, if it's no harm, no victim, no crime. You said you said it doesn't matter. Oh, 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 no victim. I'll make her say a victim. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up. I'm going to hang up. No, don't hang up. What law did I? No, wait. What law? Name the law. Hey, how about you? Shut up. Shut up. Hey, what, law, hey, what law did I commit? What, what law did I break? I, I'm legally disabled. Number one, I'm legally disabled. You oh, just fucked up. Yeah. You just what fucked up. What law did I break? You called and made I'm fucking false accusations to make sure I didn't get uh, help. Everything I said was true. Go help a chomo, bitch. Go help a chomo. So go look it up. Go look it up. Not even a. Well, I mean, not well, not even, I think I think Rick is a, a, a pedo. He is a chomo. Not even a would do a dick shit like that. Look, he was 22. Okay, his little girl was 15. Hey, hey, PDF, what do you think about Rick, 22 years old, having sex with a 15-year-old girl? What do you think about that, PDF? What does PDF think about that? His wife? You mad because you can't get one? Oh, well, PDF says any adult who has sex with a minor is, is a pedo. Ask PDF about it. Are you mad you can't get a wife, you ugly fuck? Am I, am I mad what? You can't get a wife, slow, you slow ugly fuck. Slow down, Huck. Speak you clearly. Slow down. Wife, ugly fuck. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe, number one, number one, jump up, so my wife is 16. All right, my wife is 16, not 15. What crime? Go well, what does PDF think about that? You were 22 and she was 16. PDF, what do you think about that? That's what we think. You think but Rick is a chumbo? Nathan, 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 I was yeah. legally yeah. married to my wife. 
Yeah, but but PDF thinks that's still immoral. It's his wife. It doesn't matter what he thinks. Navin doesn't know about having wives. Okay, Hook, are you done yet? Are you done? No. Okay, keep going. Let us know when you're done. I want to know what law I broke. What law did I break, Rick? Name the law. So you called, you called an organization that helps out disabled and elderly people, all right, and made a fucking uh, comment, right? I didn't call them. So Navin makes phone calls. Well, I can't. Hey, um. Yes. Hey, why did you tell him you weren't a veteran? Oh, my God, I can't wait. Why did you tell him that? Why didn't you tell him you were a Marine? I'm not a veteran. Yeah, but wait, you said you you said you were though. You said many times that you're a you're a marine. You're a veteran. You're a veteran. Listen real good. I didn't graduate from boot camp. That makes me not not. You said you you said you were a marine. You said you were. You said you were, you said you were, you said you were how are you a marine? What else you got, neighbor? A marine then. You said you were a marine. I mean, yesterday you're like, no, I'm not a veteran. Oh, I'm not a veteran. Oh, you know, remember that? You're a loser. They're so. So, Navin, Navin, yeah. what are you going to yeah. do, big boy? What are you going to do, tough guy, when they Nothing. fucking uh, put fucking Katie's information all over the place? Why are we doing worse than that? Well, Katie has nothing to hide, so there's that. I bet she knows. No, I bet she's hiding okay. something. I'll find out when I never. Hey, Navin, what's up with her eye? What, the, what's I don't know. Ask her. I don't know. It's ask called her. meth, Ricky. That, that's your wife. We got fucking good. That's your wife. That's all you have is to make fun of someone's eye. Uh, Cross eyed, goofy looking bitch. Yeah. 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 Big eyes. Have you looked at Have you looked in the mirror with your googly eyes? Fear, Navin. My googly eyes. Fear. Yeah. This is for chat. My eyes are perfectly straight. Sorry, bud. <laughs> you know. Anyway. Sorry, Navin. Um, I got more respect uh, for A. I got more Here. respect for Abe than you, Nathan. Nobody respects me. Then I do. You have more respect for Abe than I yeah, do. How come if he's smarter than Elon Musk, he's not a billionaire like Elon? I'd rather, you know, I'm not as smart as Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah. I'd rather I'm not as smart. Oh, I'd rather listen to Abe's stories. They're more entertaining than anything that fucking Nathan, that comes out of Nathan's mouth. Then why are you so roused up, man? Why are you so fired up? I'm Who's excited because I get to make phone calls now. No, I'm roused up. All thanks to Navin. It's a charitable organization oh, that you tried to defraud with that bullshit act. And, and Huckleberry, oh, I gotta call Rick, see how he's doing. It was all an act. It was an all, it was an act. Did you see him looking at the guy to check to check his? Him? It was a complete act. No, he, I know you did. But, 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 but you but, but, fell for it. You on, fell for Nathan. that act. Navin, Navin, Huckleberry. You're an actor. You said you're an actor, Rick. Nathan. That was a big old Nathan. act. Uh, you did the Fred Sanford. You, you did the Fred Sanford arthritis. My hand, my hand. You held your hand in front of the camera. It was all bent and shit. Look at my, look at my hand. Hey, can you fake a heart attack? I'm coming, Elizabeth. Here I come, Elizabeth. You with the arthritis. I got the arthritis. You fake being smart. You chomo supporter. Well, that's funny, there, Wendy. I don't drink beer. Everybody, anybody who knows me knows I don't drink alcohol. There's no chomos here, Navin. You lost. Nathan, what about my 16-year-old hot wife? I mean, she was 16. Sweet-ass body there, Nathan. Uh, I like that. that. You like the little 15-year-old girls. You said that. I heard you say it. You like the 15-year-old girls. You said it. Yeah, at him. It shows. You should get some pussy, Nathan. You wouldn't be such a dick. Yeah, you should get some pussy, Nathan. Oh, you think so? Okay, right. Well, um, I'm sorry you look like you do. Get plastic surgery. Save your pennies. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's good too. What else we got? Let's see. We covered that he wasn't a Marine. Rick finally admitted he wasn't a Marine. You're used we, to we covered that Rick that. tried to defraud. You You're used to somebody taking your Tried business. to defraud a charity. <laughs> Fake having some kind of. Would you say it was. Uh, would you say it was. you had yesterday? Arthritis? No, it was. What'd you say you had, Rick, yesterday? Fuck, Gavin. You know everything about everybody. <laughs> you should write a book. I don't know. What'd you say it was? You me. What year did I first get married? I like how you I held your hand. I like how, I don't know anything about purses. I like, I like how you held your hand up in front of the camera was all bent up and did your fingers and try to straighten them out and shit. That's that's pretty good. Look at my mm. oh, yeah. Well, at least we know he doesn't buy no women any Louis. But he'd have I don't to know have anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Have a woman to buy neighbor, 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 neighbor. When are you going live We're with your supposed children. wife, Katie? She keeps saying you're her husband. Yeah, right. 
Uh, don't no, no answer. When you going to snap know. the board and pedophiles? Mm-hmm. How come no answer, buddy? Why are you infatuated with pedophiles? Jesus, huh? You're starting to sound like PDF now. It's like every word is pedophile. It's like pedophile. You can't stop. And there's everything you think. It's all you think about. Pedophiles. Pedophiles and fake purses. Pedophiles and fake purses. Oh, jeez. I don't think I put up a three minute video about my real Louis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was hold on, hold on. Whether, whether <laughs> fucking the person that Kelly gets are fake or not, no, Mr. Biden for I don't know if they're fake. I don't know. Hell, you don't, I don't even know if they're fake or not. Huh? Hey, how much? No, in all seriousness, how much was that purse? No, hold on. Rick, Rick, shut up. Hey, huh, how much was that purse? I mean, I'm being serious. I don't know. Are they expensive? I, I got purses? a gift from my soon-to-be How husband. much do they husband. cost? I didn't how look much, at him and say, how, how much you are they worth? Boy? I just don't know how much they're worth. About 1200 bucks. That's insane. That's well, insane. It was my 50th birthday. It was on a once-in-a-lifetime gift list. I have one of those. And for my 50th, he got me a gift off of that list. And some bitches on YouTube are real mad about it. That's their problem. I still have more than one Louis, by the way, comes. Well, then, you have, it. then, then it's not once in a lifetime if you have well, two of them. I bought the other one. Well, then why do you need another one on, on a wish list if you already have one? Because it's called Neighbor. a wish list. And why Neighbor, not? I got a question. Naven, you're always on in the middle of the day. When do you have time to work? Or are you on I get off. Moment? This is the time of day I get off work. I don't have to work. It's oh, great. This is the time of day I get off work. You know, the sun's kind of low in the sky. You've been on earlier than this shit, dude. When? So, Navin, you know yeah. that $1,200 purse? That's about as much as a saddle, a brand new saddle for Katie. If you love Katie, why don't you buy her a horse saddle? Oh, she needs one. She's got plenty. We should see a video soon of her gift, right? I mean, she's only got one butt. How many saddles does she need? Well, that, that's not Mr. had some horses, and he had a lot of saddles. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he had horses. Mr. has everything, right? Yeah. He had dress horses. He sure did. Now, did you pay attention? Saddles. He had to have a halo on his ankle from his horse, draft mm-hmm. horse breaking his leg. That's true. Pay attention, Navin. Johnny Cash now, was the horse's like, name. Someone like Party Sweetie Band. Sugar. Someone like Sweetie Sugar. They don't have saddles. They're used to riding horses without saddles. They're back. They're back. That's what happens when you're successful, Navin. Yes. You ride a horse bareback, that means you're successful when you can do that? You know, that means you're Native horses, American. Unlike like Joker. That. He owned a cigarette boat once, too. And like Joker there, Naven, Joker can't 24, ride a horse Gavin. bareback. He's such a failure, I tell you. Yeah. Actually, Rick, yeah, I'm a failure. Bareback. I'm a big old failure. Shut up, yep. Joker. Compared to my mister, yes. Uh, I'm sure I am. According to him, yeah. I'm a big old failure. Failure. Failure, failure, failure. The fact that I don't have a, big, don't don't have a bitch like you near me means that'd be a big success oh, for me. And so that'll win. Failure. Okay. failure. You need somebody stupid like Katie. Makes you feel failure. Failure. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, to his throne, right? Here's a right? real question, exactly. huh? Huck, Huck. When is he actually ever going to fuck Katie? And never. <laughs> <laughs> I can touch my man. He can't. David. All right. Well, this I think this is run its course. We've had we've had some fun. We've talked about. Go ahead. I'm gonna let Rick finish. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rick. Katie admitted. Katie admitted I fucked her at Taco Cabana in Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Okay. Sure you did. Go cry. She did. You admit it. Run along. How do How do you like the fact that Ricky hit Katie and you haven't? You mean like slapped her? I believe you probably did slap her. Oh, I bet you did, number man. One, number one, ask Katie, I don't beat women. Well, not that way. I spanked her little white asses, but I don't beat them like you do. <laughs> okay, whatever. Now I'm a, I'm a woman beater now, right? Okay. It could be. We don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that not fire statement? Well, let's see what else we got here. Is it not fire statement? We don't know. Do we have any requests from the chat? Any requests in the chat? So. I want to hear PDF. I want to hear what PDF has to say about Rick being 22 and that little girl being 15. Wait, you barely 16. Navin, you barely. I want to hear PDF. PDF should do an expose Navin. on. Navin. 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 She, Navin. She, was, Navin. She, was, uh, she had her birthday. She was uh, a couple of weeks past 16, buddy. She was. Uh, 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 no, no, no. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. 
Her birthday, her birthday, her birthday was March 30th. Yeah. You got you got married what May 9th. Oh my God, he's totally obsessed. <laughs> he's obsessed hey, with a 15-year-old hey, girl. Justin Joe married us. You. And see, and he stayed in Texas. There's a little law, Maven. Go look it up. It's called the. I Romeo know, but I'm going. Look, look, I think PDF's right about this. I think Porter Farmer is right. You know that anybody who's like 22 should be having sex with someone who just is barely 16, just turned 16. I think that's wrong. Is it legal in some states? Yeah. Oh, it is. Shit. Yeah. Actually, in Louisiana, you can be 16 and get married. You better get over there, Nevin. Slavery used to be legal, too. You know that? Slavery used to be legal. Doesn't mean this. Too bad. Too bad. I don't own your family anymore, there, Nevin. Nevin, get to Louisiana and change the laws. That's terrible. Yeah, so that puts him oh, almost six years God, older. You know, They're like, man, you're like almost six man, years older than him. He's up there trying to call a man for marrying his woman. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what PDF man. says about it because man, he man, doesn't, man, PDF man, doesn't like that man, shit. Man, okay. man. <laughs> did you know in the state of Louisiana and Arkansas, it's legal to marry your second cousin? I had no idea. Now, only you would know that. Go look it up. Okay, I'm, I think marrying your cousin should be illegal. I thought it was illegal. Right, illegal. No, you would know. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen, we got a saying down here in the South, you know, Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana, ain't nothing spells loving like fucking your cousin. Well, Ricky, how come he was able to figure all this out about you so quick, but it took him months to corner mouse? <laughs> Actually, Desert Sentinel, Desert Sentinel cornered mouse. That's not you on the panel. Just got some tires for his bus. I found out. I found out like everybody else. That's not you. And you didn't know then. My job was to troll Mouse, and that's what I did. PDF defended Mouse, and that's what he did. That was his job. Just like I trolled, just like I trolled the shit out of Eric Brandt, just like I trolled the shit out of Rick Rude. When you buy stuff for a chomo, that's trolling. That's what I did. I was a troll. I trolled them all. Buying stuff for pedophiles, trolling. Okay. This is like I trolled the shit out of Rick. I trolled the shit out of everybody. Right. You ain't trolled the shit out of me. You may have trolled Andrew. I trolled the shit out of you. You know, no, you're, 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 you're in the Kroger store. In the Kroger store, you came out pissed off. Tell me you weren't fucking I'm pissed. I'm to troll me. I didn't even hear it, and that's not trolling, dumb fuck. I that heard you in the background. That same idiot loser who had nothing to do but to call a fucking store and then uh, put some bullshit on the intercom. <laughs> oh, you're trolling me, right? Man, I'm I didn't even to do it. We all know hey, what you're Hey, can I tell him the story? He he can I tell him the story? Hey, Hub, are you, you done? Can I tell him the story or no? A Fed supporter, bitch. You don't want to hear the story, okay? No, you don't want to hear it. The, the, the fact is, Naven, you're a child yeah. predator supporter. Yep. How am I, how am I a child predator supporter? I turned him in. I bust him. Hundreds of hours of footage. Well, he he all, all right, all right, Hook, I got I got You say hundreds of hours. I'll give you. I will donate ten thousand dollars to your charity if you produce a hundred hours of. Go ahead, produce it. Oh, see no justice. Produce it. And I will you PDF produce hundreds of hours of material. There's so many goddamn hours of you telling him what's fucking, how much air to put in his tires, fucking paint his bus, what fucking spark plugs. Megan, you're a piece of crap and you know. But don't there ain't no hope for you, boy. <laughs> hey, man, for you, Nagin. Nagin, you're such a piece of crap. Hey, oh. business, hey, let me tell you. Nagin thought he was going to be a phone call guy and call up people and harass them on the telephone. But his fucking career, I got videos of you doing that, too. I was never trying to be a crap. Shut, shit for shut up when I talk. He, and then they made a new law. Fun, he was boy. not allowed to call people. He had to wait for them to call him. Nobody Why? ever called him. So that was the end of that career, wasn't it, Nagin? I'm turn my phone on right now. Nagin. What are you getting you're from me? This shit and you head. know it. Everybody knows it. You can't hide it. All, you spend how many hours? Shit hey, too, yeah. how many hours? Every one how, of us. Okay, how many hours did you spend on Rat's panel talking to him, Nagin? Trolling him. And here we go. You talked to, talk to him. You talked to him, dude. How many hours? You were his, you were his buddy. Team how many up hours, hours Nagin? Like let's answer minutes. the question, son. Uh, how many hours? Didn't I hear you say he was... Didn't you say everybody leave Mouse alone? It was 20 years ago. How many Did hours, Nagin? Well, you well, tell well, show me where I defended him. You show me where I defended him like you did. Till the ain't no the defending. How many, how many yeah. hours? How many hours, Nagin? How many hours, dude? I bet you don't answer. You had... 
you guys CIS. have that fucking, what's that other guy down there in Florida? Yeah, CIS, yeah, I ain't never been with that one of his buddies. All the no. pedos, co- and the news uh, down Charlotte, those are all your people. Okay. Those are your people. Okay, how many hours did you spend That's on four. Rap's channel? I've never how been many hours nagging? a pedo. Look you, at him. You all fucking pissed up. Look at him. Puffed up, ain't you, boy? Did that get you all puffy? Well, how many, yeah, I've never yeah, been in the yeah, presence of a yeah, pedo. Yeah. You've been in four of them. I can tell you. I, I don't fuck I haven't been, been to I ain't never been to fucking Texas or Colorado, you fool. He's starting to stutter. Listen at him. Listen at him. I'll have that son of a bitch tied up in a fucking knot here in a minute with his facts and truth. About you, Nagy. How many hours did you spend talking rationally? You've been with Black National rat? Freedom Fighter. Let's talk about that. How many hours? Yeah. Did you okay. Yeah, we him? did. We we fucking definitely sat there and talked to Freedom Fighter. He was introduced to us by Jason Galdet. But either way, we sat oh, there and talked fault? to him. Jason's fault now. Oh, I see. Well, no, I he's one of the Jason's persons fault. who brought him in because they was doing karaoke oh, and shit. Jason's so we accept fault. everybody. We accept Bullshit. everybody till we find out something, he was Megan. That race war. He was right there with you when you started oh, that race yeah, war. Right. Yeah, that's a good channel. one. Look at it. There okay. He is. Yeah. Oh, Let's go with that. Film the Let's police, Minneapolis. There he yes. is. Yes. Yes. Uh, there he is. Go to my channel. Look at it. Hey, Ain't that funny? Let's keep changing the subject, Megan. Keep bouncing around. We're like a bouncing fucking ball over there. Navin, you go to Minneapolis often, don't you? It goes from one excuse to the next. Yeah, right. Yep. A lot of chomos in Minneapolis, it seems like. You would know, wouldn't you? Are you from there? Well, they're on the there are cop watches. And with, with, Navin, what's that guy? No, what's, the big, what's the big guy's name? Anthony. Navin. Anthony Wickless. Aren't you Navin? Hey, you see how he bounced around from one fucking subject to another? He couldn't stay on the same subject. He's no, like reaching for Charles, Megan. No, you reaching for Charles, son. No, no, no what's the Minnesota, subject? Navin. Guys, Navin. guys, what's crazy Navin. is Navin. How's the weather in Minnesota, Navin? <laughs> I don't what's know. Creepy, Fuck, you tell me. What's creepy is yeah, Navin me. knows where the high percentage of child molesters are in what state. Now I gotta no, they, they show up on fucking. Know. You watch pop. If you watch auditors, uh, they just show sure, up. Sure, sure, he sure, definitely sure. knows in Minnesota. Yeah, he definitely loves, knows the hot spots. So it's called what do you think about Rick? What do you think about Rick Rude? I caught you a little uh, deal. Of, deal on what's the guy's name savage dave uh, uh, and how you were talking about no adult should ever have, have sex with a minor oh well, you ever you look rid- up, rid- you rid- you rid- right up. i know you don't know how to research nagging but you, you just found out about romeo and juliet laws you just found out yeah. about it you just found out about this week we've known about it yeah, but how come you ain't talked about it how come you ain't talked about it nagging well, how come yeah. you sitting there saying just what a couple of days ago? Well, a week ago, yeah, that most adults are not sex with a minor, right? Most states, most states don't allow it. Hey, most states don't have you it. You said it was immoral. You said it was immoral. You didn't care if it was legal. Yeah, I don't like it. Yes, I have that no, opinion. No, I, is it immoral? Yeah. Is it to immoral? me, it is. It's no, not Rick. morally right. It's no, not morally Rick. right to take advantage no, of it. Don't talk that to me. Doesn't... Talk to Rick. Talk to Rick, bitch. Why don't you shut the fuck up for a goddamn minute, there, Megan? Well, tell me, I want to hear your fucking to voice any goddamn rip. You ask a question and let tell somebody rip. answer, nagging. It's how it works. It's called communication, boy. You're too stupid to understand that, nagging. You always have been. So why don't you ask me, Nathan? Ask me a question. Tell Rick he's a piece of shit. Tell him. Why? What? Hold on, hold on. Let me answer. Why am I a piece of shit, Nathan? According to PDF, I'm used to PDF. Slot. His, no, his no, 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 no. He's a whole another human being. Why are you he's saying a I'm a pussy? Piece of shit? He's afraid of you, Rick. He won't tell you because he's afraid of you. Uh-huh. Nobody sure, sure, sure. Having nobody. <laughs> nobody. I said he's a. I said PDF is afraid of Rick. He won't God, tell, he I'm won't saying tell nobody's afraid of him. I, I, I can guarantee you. I can ch- guarantee you. <laughs> Willie's not a fucking afraid of me. And another thing, Navin, you fucking won't even address you. I'll whoop your ass. That is a friend of mine, you dumb fuck. PDF's a friend of yours. Where do you think I get my marijuana from, buddy? That's right, the good shit, the good shit. Keep the kids off drugs, they won't buy none from me. That motherfucker, you pick and choose, right, PDF? You pick and choose who you think is a pedo. All right, it goes Panama Red. That motherfucker grows the good shit. What are you doing there, Nathan? What you got, Nick? You got any good shit? I got the good shit, Nick. I'm trying to figure that, why are you changing the subject? We ain't changed the subject. You don't shut up long enough to listen to my answer. I'm trying to figure out why Rick is not a piece of shit. But everybody else who has sex, 18 year old has sex with a 17 year old. News flash. News flash, Nagin. Rick calls me a piece of shit and I call him a piece of shit. Where you been, you fucking greasy old bastard? 
Yeah. Yeah. Now wake up there. Wake up. By by the way, PDF, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. And like I said, I don't have to agree with you and I don't have to like the shit you're done. But what do you do right now? Who are you right now? Nagging, you That's hide you behind your Mouse. charges. That's boy. what you said about Mouse. You said no, he who you is he right now. now. You said forget about what Mouse did back then. Who is he now? That's what you said. That's a chopped up clip. That's, That's what a you said. Clip. Nag. <laughs> Play the whole you were so busted. Nag. You were so busted. You did it again. I bet you, you did it again. Play I bet you won't play the whole video. Spill the guts, boy. I can get you to spill it out. Long enough to have a Still conversation. Yeah, yeah, get your narrative out. You're like a so three-year-old. Okay, what Rick did back then? It's okay, what Mouse did back then? You're like a fucking three-year-old four, Nagin. You're just like a three-year-old four. And Evan, you got him tires and paint and everything else. Why don't you tell us? Oh wow. You supported him. Why don't you tell us? Oh, I love you. He bought him things to make his life easier. Hold on, Rick. Rick's making love to cinnamon. Hold on. Finish. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> fucking fucking Nagin spent probably 50 hours at least on fucking uh, Gratz panels talking to him, telling him how to work on his bus. And how Tro- much that's not trolling. Not that's right, not trolling somebody. Trying to put Merrick on his Produce shit is not hours. trolling, Nagin. Produce. That's not right. the definition of trolling, boy. That's supporting. All right, well, now that's we have a bit. Now, now we have something that. we can work with. Did. You produced 50 hours. Go ahead, do it. I got a fucking page full of your shit, you fool. Okay, you got 50 hours? Let's see it. You got 50 hours on there. Free money. Go lift, Navin. You want to know something? Nene, Navin. Nene, Navin. You're like a little fucking chihuahua, huh? You're like a little fucking ankle biter. Max, let the men, let the men talk, Huck. Sit down. Let the men talk. You, you, hey, Huckleberry, he don't like hearing the facts, Huck. That's the problem. He don't like hearing that shit when he knows that we got him. I thunder slap his fucking little ass. You know, they say, come out with a chopped up clip where I called them all a bunch of fools that night and told every one of them stupid bastards on that panel that that fucking piece of shit rat outsmarted all of them. And he was fucking, I told every one of them stupid bastards that night. Every Prove fucking it. one of you fools, so you chop up a clip and try to make it sound like I said something I didn't. I love you. You, you made said. me. My Everybody fucking channel grows every goddamn day because of you fools. You can you. learn a lot from Mouse. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Hey, Twenty years ago. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you yeah. something, Nagin. Let me, let me yeah. have a news flash for you. These fucking pedophiles, they are fucking smart. That's the problem. They use their fucking intelligence to take advantage of people. And it's something that you do because you act that just like a, a fucking that pedophile, what dude. That's that how these motherfuckers get to yeah, where they're at. Is that what Mouse did to you, Nagin? Is that what Mouse did, did to you? Did Blake Nash yeah. outsmart you, PDF? Is that what happened? He was smarter, smarter than all of them. Oh, God. How did that motherfucker infiltrate into a group of people and do all the things that Blake Nash would do? How did he put up with you? Not a group of people, a group of idiots you like you. You're you and you an idiots, fool. You're <laughs> fucking the one. You're the main one on their panel. I mean, goddamn, you can't see that. No, on Black Nash's panel, what are you talking about? You are on bullshit. fucking Rat's right. panel, you piece of yeah, shit. Whatever. Don't try to whatever. change the bullshit. narrative. You're like a 304. Okay, That's what hey, you, you are. You can say what you want. Nobody yeah, believes what you say. You're a 304, Nagin. You talk just bull- like them 304s in Miami. You sound just like them. I don't buy your What the fuck's a 304? That's you, blood. Research is the key, son. Get, get. You'll learn one day. You'll learn what you are. I motherfuckers see you, Nevin. I know what I am. No, we are you. We do too. Well, anyway, hey, Rick. Uh, well, I'm glad yeah, you he's some punk ass bitch that hides so, uh, behind the internet. He's a little punk boy that hides that hides behind his internet yeah. name. <laughs> In real life, he ain't shit. Keep hiding, nagging. That's what you need to do. Keep hiding, blood. You know, if anybody ever found you, they fucking put knuckle bumps on your head. You know that. I don't right? owe you shit, by the way, PDF. I don't owe you a fucking hey, thing. If, you ever, hey, if anybody ever seen you, they'd put knuckle bumps on your head, son. You know that, right? They'd beat you. You may meet up one day, buddy. You know that, right? You won't never have the nerve to step up around me, son. I promise you that. You ain't got the nerve, boy. The future is a crazy thing, PDF. I like my truck. You never know what's going to happen. I like my YouTube Hey, how you like my YouTube truck? That motherfucker look good, though. That's a nice truck. Good looking truck, man. That's a good looking truck. That's a YouTube truck. My friends, hey, people on YouTube bought that for me, man. That's how much people liked me. They sent me money enough to help me out one time. Hey, let's see your face, Navin. He, uh, he, he got that when he's, he was uh, in collusion with that Jeremiah Raver guy. Jeremiah Raver. Remember him? Little wife beater. Talk about wife beaters. That guy beat the shit out of his wife. And here's old PDF, buddy buddy with Jeremiah Raver. 
Doesn't Eric Brandt have footage of Nevin? Eric yeah, Brandt? probably. Oh, yeah, he does. I'll as ask a matter of fact, As a matter of fact, I'll contact somebody from that fucking group. Hey, that, that look fight. at that straight line, Nagy. Look at that shit. I cut that shit with a grinder. Look at that, all the pieces on the ground. How you like that? I'm a working motherfucker. That shit you couldn't do on your best oh, day, Nagy. You yeah, couldn't put a uh, fucking roof on if it was to save his life. He couldn't do shit. I didn't Good to nag. Good to nag. You can't do nothing on your own, can you, Nag? Hey, Nag is so dumb. Hey, here's how dumb Nagin is. One day we told him his transmission bearing was going out, so he took to the transmission shop and had it checked. <laughs> we throwing that shit over the internet. He believed us, right? <laughs> I don't know if he's a real brain surgeon. <laughs> Thank you for you. Oh, shit, you can't make this shit up, dude. That's why he hides, though. Because anybody that hides like he does has to have pedophile charges behind him. He has to. No yeah, possible yeah, yeah. way you don't. So uh, you think that's you? Who muted me? What happened? Oops, okay, that was you. I, I didn't mute. About time. Reaper, fess up. Go ahead, Nagin. He might have hit the wrong button. Just talk and shut up and keep going. Whatever. We don't care. I didn't sit there and stare at a limb for a month, bitching. I'm going to do something with this fucking limb on my roof. Then get $6,000 to pay some guy to come get the limb off my roof. That's <laughs> fucking... <laughs> did I? I paid somebody. Cool. How much did I pay him? What's wrong with that? I don't know. You paid him cash. Did I? Yeah, he believed that shit, too. He probably sent him money. <laughs> Never said that. You know that. Never said that motherfucker was on the roof. You know that. Yeah, you agreed with him. We heard Never you. Said it. Never said he was on the roof. <laughs> Back up for him, fool. I didn't get to the facts. He wasn't. Yeah, I never said he was on the what, fucking roof. What, 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 Are you kidding, Water, water, what, 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 water, what, what, water what, what, I said he was there. I just said he was there, and you guys had a fucking conniption trip. You, you sat there, put water lines up, and how fast the water was rising inch per inch. Yeah, well, I'm right about that. There, yeah. Well, you said the storm surge didn't even. Huh? You said the storm surge didn't even get to the house. So you, you're. Like that's what you know. said. The water was as high as you. Yeah. Hey, 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 Rick. Rick, you know about. Hey, Rick, you know about storm surge, right? Don't you? You've been in 15 hurricanes. Hey, Rick. I gotta know. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna get Rick's expert. I'm gonna get Rick's expert opinion. Hey, Rick. Got all the way down. Rick. Oh, come on, just one second. I, I know you're. I know you're enjoying this fuck out. It's just calm down. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Calm down. How was it right, Kevin? If the water was as high as smoke a cigarette, light, light a cigarette. All right, Rick. Wait, Kevin. Answer it. You're not saying another fucking word to you. It's answer. not empirical evidence. I don't. I've never saw the match. Well, maybe it, maybe it floated up and floated down. Hey, look, Rick. Why is it so light? Hey, Rick. How did? How did? Rick, oh, Jesus, how can you fucking impossible? Now Rick, he wants to be your buddy, buddy, Rick. Rick, why do you want to buddy up with you now? You come out of right here and tell us what you're asking, Rick. Rick, why are you talking to me? This Rick is a storm Rick. surge expert. Get Rick's nerve out your mouth there, Nagin. Hey, Rick. Stop sucking Rick. Rick. his nerve, Shut up, Nagin. Man. God damn it, I want to hear fucking what Rick has to say about this. Fucking fucking Nagin. Shut up, bitch, boy. Nobody wants to hear what you're going to say the goddamn house. All right. All right. Go ahead, Rick. Go ahead, Go ahead, Rick. Thank Go, Nag. Okay, Go. Rick. Do you think the storm surge got to Huckleberry's trailer? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Who really cares? Hold on. Why? Okay. Why? Why? Hold on. Let me answer it, guys. Why? Yeah. Because behind uh, Huck's house, she had an inlet. Okay? That storm surge was about, I don't know, 20, 30 miles away from her house. So that nope. shit went all through that. Not, uh, not, 20, not 20, 30 miles away. 1.2 files. Yeah. Inside it's, it's, my house. Oh, she Wait, definitely got a wall of water. I don't think she's saying she she got got the storm surge never got there. She said it didn't get there. It don't matter. She got a little bit of water there. She got some water there. No, 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 PDF. She said no. The water. She said it didn't get there. I specifically remember her showing a video where the water came into the fucking you, place. I know what she yes, said. She said it never yes, got it. to her trailer. That I never. I could have been mistaken. No water. Is that she said it like multiple right times. Now? Yeah, he tried uh, to say that, uh, Huckleberry. Hold on, Kelly. Hold on, Kelly. Ricky, you shut up. Get my house. Ricky, you shut up. Get my house. 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 Get my house.
Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, why was I at that? Is that what you're saying now? Dude. That's what I thought. You, Huck, you say you say the stone shirt never got you trailer. I don't remember her saying that. So that's I don't remember her saying that. But, but you you're you're old. I don't give a shit. You don't, I don't give a shit. shit. I don't fucking you care don't about you, shit. you nagging. Your Ask, word's worthless, nagging. Well, Ask everybody right knows now. your word is worthless. Ask her right now, then. It don't matter. Did the stone shirt get you your trailer? Yes or no, Huck? You know, you know, you're afraid to say it because you know I got the clips. Show me. You're afraid. To, you're afraid to say it, aren't you? Say what? Say what? Did the storm surge get to your trailer? Did there I have blood? Yes. No, no, no. Did the storm surge? Did the storm surge get there? Don't know. Did I'm it? not a hurricane expert. Well, yeah. Well, of course, it, it had to have a wall of water coming in, whether it was in the air or on the ground. There's a lot of water comes with a storm. No. Hey, more water comes through the air a lot of times than on the fucking ground. Does it matter? The water there. was not where Nabin claims it was. Uh, it's a wall of fucking water. Don't matter how it gets there. That's a fucking fact. Nagin ain't never been in a hurricane. It yeah, you're right. Never been never. You're right. Never been in one. Home. Video don't lie, bitch. Like you do. Were you in my house? You weren't there either. I wasn't. You was there. Was fucking tonic. That lying piece of shit wasn't there neither. He was there, just not me. Not on the roof. If you think he was there, you're a fool. If you're a bigger fool, not think you are, Nagin. If you believe that, go spend any time there. You got the 911 calls. You need to know how to do research, PDF, before you have the 911 calls. Dumbass. They ain't worth the money spent on them fools. They're worth it. Hey, why is it? Why is it? Would you spend the money on FOIA? It's like gold. There were none. My house. This? Uh, no call service to my house. Uh, go ahead, Reaper. Uh, my dear, can you hold the panel down for about a minute or two? <laughs> yeah, it's called you. You better put the screen up, nagging a porn bomb. Yeah, he's like that. Yeah, right. Whatever. You are a good right. piece of shit. Right. You, you porn bomb more than I have. I ain't never porn bomb in my life. Never in my life and never would. I would you never attack somebody. Fool. Never. I didn't do that. I've never. never done that. You brought it up on your own panel. You what? Somebody else porn bombing me? But you do it and you did it. You How said, watch I, this. Until I bring them up. See, I've never even done that. How would I know this until I bring them up and then they do it to me? How am I going to know it other than saying, you saw it. You said, look here, look there, got the porn, porn bomb. bomb. Watch this. They got a porn bomb going in the basement. Watch them bring it up and you brought it up. No, it was in porn bomb until they come up, but it don't matter. Either way, who's attacking and assaulting me with pornography, Nagin? I wouldn't even have was done that. Was that you? Was that you doing it? <laughs> no, it wasn't me. I don't do that shit. Then how would you know this even happened? Because you told us on your stream. Oh, you told with what I said. Yes. It was right there. I said that someone porn bombed me, and I said that I brought them up and showed them that they were a porn bomber. Yeah, you porn bomb your own street. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. I said he's probably a porn bomber, and I'm going to bring him up bomber. to tell you what he kind of piece that. of shits are on the internet. And some I bring him up. Saw that. And, and then they what porn bomb kid, me. What if some kid saw that watching your stream and they saw that? Yeah. That means, you, what that if, means you're a child. Yeah. That means you're. That's child I was pornography assaulted. in the eyes of the law. Yes, I was assaulted. assaulted. Yes, I was assaulted you, that day. But I you was sexually it assaulted. You it wasn't a porn bomb until I brought it up, Nagin. But you knew it, though. You knew How did they know you're not going to porn bomb them? Because you hang out with yeah, that group. You knew it. You, you know, hang out with that group. How do I know until I bring them up? How am I fucking talking about I got a crystal ball nagging. Do I got a crystal hey, remember when you were watching? Remember when you were watching Billy Norwood get naked, dance around on the fucking all naked and shit, laughing and shit? Thought that was funny. No, I got the clip though. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I wasn't in the room that night. Why were you having so much fun looking at the naked guy on, on the fucking yeah. YouTube? I wasn't in the room that night, Nagin. You were laughing. You were laughing. I guess, Nagin, I wasn't in the room that night. How would I know? Hey, you should be sure watching the restream of it right there. Laughing. I was. You was too tall, Rob. That panty slipper too tall, Rob. Yeah, sure was. Was, was laughing, you there? And and you said, you even said, wait, the good, the good part's coming. The full moon's coming. Hold on, guys. Here it comes. No, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure that wasn't fuck. me. I wouldn't have said well, the full moon. I don't use them words. Maybe, That's not my maybe, language. Maybe I need to upload the clip tonight. Hey, look, maybe you should. Maybe you maybe should, Megan. Maybe, 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 maybe you it. should. That gives you something to do. Right. Do, okay, do, do it right, right now. now, Meg. Do it right, right. now, boys. Okay, I'll do it right now, buddy. Okay, All for you. I'll tag you. Good. I'll tag you. That's a great thing to do. You need to do that. That'd be perfect. This is fun.
I can give you something to do. Give you something to do, son. Good. And put my yeah. name in the title and hashtag me in the description and put oh, at symbols. Okay, good, good. I will. And don't forget to tag me. Put my name in the tags, too. Poor Dirt Farmer. And you don't use all capital letters. Only the first word has a capital. The rest of them are small letters. So if you're going to do my name right, tag it right this time, would you? Because you don't even okay. know how to spell my fucking name right, dude. I don't you to, when you hit at and the P-O-O-R, yeah, your hashtag. name comes don't up. Don't forget I'm hashtag. To I'm subbed to your screen, so it comes up automatically. I'm subbed don't to your Don't forget channel. hashtag. I don't need a hashtag, just the ad. Hey, did you see the Georgia cop they just busted today for fucking child porn in Alabama? The sheriff what in Georgia. The fuck? God damn, every what day the another fuck? one of these heads. Your buddy up there in Georgia got busted. The sheriff. What? Yeah. Did yeah. I just... Yeah, your Georgia buddy. This is lose like 10 minutes? What the fuck? How yeah, the you're a sheriff. You're, 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 you're a sheriff, buddy. You I'm letting you know. This do you? And you're you Georgia you're sheriff, forget. buddy, you're dude. That's where you hang out, son. PDF has fun with the naked out, Billy Norwood dancing around oh, full moon time. Oh, oh, Everybody shit. knows about drunken Billy Norwood's balls yeah, hanging out and falling fun over the can. I've never seen three guys have so much fun looking at a naked man on TV. I don't think you're going to see it. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see it. Unless it's you doing oh, it. You know it's going to happen. Have I? Look, how many hints did I drop that day? About how, do you about memorize, how do you memorize? How can you remember memorize all this pornography, fucking naked, fucking men no, stuff? No. You're pretty good at memorizing that's that stuff. No, good, good memory. Yeah, I know. That's, that's what, what you do to remember. Yeah, I gotta remember for you because you don't remember half the shit you yeah, say. I gotta remember, yeah. I gotta remember for me don't and you. Forget. Put up the clip and fill your memories up through naked men porn. That's what you need to fill your memory banks with because that's yeah, what you think about. Are you right. scared I'm gonna do it? You, 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 I you don't give a fuck. Do it, aren't you? Dude, yeah, look deep into my eyes and see how much I care, nagging. Can you see any give a shit at all? <laughs> do you? Oh, man. You see any shit? Look deep, boy. Look shit. deep, son. Look deep, boy. You hey, see everybody. any give a shit? All right, I got to advertise. I got I to gotta promo this shit. Okay. Uh, hey, Southern. Name, we do it. Name, Southern. Name, Southern. Name, Southern. Name, Southern. Name, Southern. Name, video. One and a half percent getting down. Yeah. Navens drive in theater, one hour. Um, I'm going to tag. I'm gonna tag yeah. Porter Farmer, and you gotta tag everybody else, and then yeah, it'll be right. You guys gonna have fun. Dude. Old Porter Farmer having a good old time yeah. with with, with well, sniffing, well, painting sniffing Rob, and don't forget, go check No Justice Channel. He got you all up on that motherfucker, and I'm putting you all up on Rumble too. Uh, Nagin Johnson kissing rat butt, yeah. sucking yeah, rat. Well, we got you all over the place. Put up the part where I said it was 20 years ago. Rob sniff any panties. That was. Put up the part where I said Mouse is a smart guy. We can learn a lot from Mouse. Don't you know? have any. Yeah, play the whole clip, Nagin. Hey, what happened when you guys said, hey, Nagin? Hey, Nagin, what happened when you chopped that clip up and said, well, we're not going to put up the whole four hours? Why not, Nagin? Yeah, sometimes. You Why want to not? Four Why hours. not, because Nagin? Why not? watch four hours of shit. Well, give it to me. I'll put it up. You send me the link. I'll put the whole four hours of me fucking okay. cussing fools out on my fucking panel. You don't have bitch boy. Exist. Exist. See, that's the problem. You got a bunch of chopped up clips in one video. You can open that fucking video and look and see how many times you chopped it up. That's stupid. Where's Anybody can't see it? that's an idiot. You, you tell me no where it's at. Has. You said no justice has it. Why had he we got it? the sound. We got the sound bite. Play it. No, like Justice wanted thing. to put it out. I unless Justice wanted to put it out a year ago. I said no, don't. Let them keep talking their oh, shit. Bullshit. That way I know yeah, which right, ones whatever. are the idiots. No, don't put it's it out. out there, dude. It's out there, but Let's you're too stupid to find it. Because guess what? When the sound bite finally, when someone's finally does find it, other than no justice, because I told him not to, I, I told him, please don't put it out that way. I want to see what's going on in the world. But either way, once you it, hear the actual fucking the actual live feed and you realize that I told all you stupid bastards how dumb you guys were that night on the fucking panel, that comes from like three different goddamn panels. Three but you're saying you're gonna hide it somewhere in the internet. You're a fool. Somewhere Everybody knows it, it Maggie. You ain't got a chance. <laughs> you ain't got a chance in hell, son. Keep talking right, to your shit. Video. I, I got, got a video to produce, man. Let me get let me get busy. Well, get on it. Why ain't you done right. it already? You can't do it and talk at the same time. What are you slow walking? Brain dead motherfucker. Get out of here with your punk ass. All right, buddy. All right, this is fun. Hey, we gotta do this <laughs> again. Get, boy, get, get, son, get. Peace. Get up out of here, boy. Lying ass piece of shit like nagging. That's the place that everybody already knows what kind of lying piece of crap he is.
and he always has been since day one. When he first came out here, I'm telling you right now, we got videos, I can prove it, that he tried to think he was going to be one of them phone call guys to call people up and rag them on the phone, but they passed a law. He wasn't allowed to do that no more. There are videos of him out there ragging on people on the phone, but he, he doesn't sound like the same person because he was a little bit younger back then. Yeah, Nagin, we got all your crap, boy. Go sit down somewhere. Oh my God, Bird Chip is just sitting in the backstage and he thinks that I give a fuck what my neighbors think about me, barely. <laughs> I ain't got no neighbors, so I don't give a fuck either. Oh, I do, and apparently he thinks I care what they fucking think about me. Um, <laughs> they're already aware, by the way. Say hi to Keith. Shout out, buddy. <laughs> He's such a fucking joke. Call my fucking mama. Call Jesus Bird. I oh, he can't it. stay on. Hey, hey, it's funny how he can't stay on the same subject. He got to go from one subject to the next to the next to the next. He's like one of them fucking monsters trying to escape and just going in all directions. You know what I mean? He can't he keep bouncing off the walls everywhere he goes. He Sorry, Megan. You lose hands. again. Oh. He but here's the question. Hey, does that girl really have TBI? That girl, Kate, Katie? Have what? Traumatic brain injury. Yes, they said she has the mind of a 13-year-old, the one boy was saying. So Nagin saying married a girl with the mind of a 13-year-old? Well, which story does it want to go with? I don't know. I'll ask the question. TV shows. What I'm saying, if he's hanging out with a girl that has the mind of a 13-year-old, he's manipulating that girl's mind. Really? Because he's a piece of shit. So he's going to try to say shit to her and get her to believe this crazy shit that he says, which isn't well, going to help her out at all. He's got her believing she's his wife. So there's that. He's got her believing a lot of crazy shit. That's what I was saying when I started seeing all this and putting it all together. And then in the chat that day, they said to be nice to her because she has TBI. And I'm like, what is TBI? And they said, well, she has the mind of a 13 year old, traumatic brain injury. No, she wasn't. I don't know. That's what I was asking the question. This is what I've been told out here multiple times. And I'm thinking, God dang, that fit in for nagging. He'd go after a 13-year-old little girl with his mind, his mentality. Well, if that's true, what's she doing over here? Shouldn't she be on the She shouldn't even be on the internet if she's got... But she's over 14, so I guess she's allowed. I don't fucking know. Yeah. I'm just saying, man, that's kind of strange, yeah, ain't okay. it? Going after someone that has a mental illness? Well, if she does, then she needs to log off. Like well, she's going on. after the other boy. He got a mental illness. They go right. after after Rebel. Rebel got a mental illness, right? If it's true about Rebel, then it must be the same for her. So follow your own advice, bitch. I'm just saying it's kind of funny that these people all go after the people with mental illnesses. Mm. That's because they're their weaponized retards. Ask them. That's what they call them. That's literally what they call them. That's not even a bullshit lie. We can use the retards to do our dirty work because nobody can fight back against them because they're retards. They well, like, like they did when they pretty much destroyed uh, the boy Gregory's channel. Okay. They yeah, they did that to him, too, because we all helped him for months and months. I got all the live feeds. I lock everything, so I have it all. I've fucking over 12 yeah, years up in that. Nemi, uh, Lynn Lambright, Rosie Wren. That's their favorite go-to people. I go against all the idiots because and usually I pick them out a lot faster than everybody else for some reason. And I'm the bad guy. I make the girls cry. And uh, then about six, eight months, a year later, they find out people like, what's her name? Liver girl, the fake liver and the fake fucking uh, veteran and all the other fake lying shit. I called her out how long ago. I said, you lying piece of shit. Get your ass up out of here. I call people out a little bit early, I guess. But I'll be the bad guy. What the hell? It's like, yeah, you people shut up, man. They seem to think I'm worried about a single fucking one of them. I'm not. Merch is huh. going crazy because he can't get me to react the way he wants. Now he's going to start making phone calls. Do this. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you got to you gotta think about like this. Nagin has been following me around and memorizing every right. shit I take for the last 10 years. His, he's so consumed. He's like obsessed with me. It's been funny to watch somebody like you. He actually has an obsession. I I that guy's weird. How does he know so many details? This is funny. <laughs> Who the yeah. fuck does anybody follow as much as Megan has followed me? Isn't yeah, that weird? Did I ever expose him on one of them child pedophile videos I did long ago? Is that why he hates me so much? It seems somebody told me that one time, a long time ago, and I've been saying it forever because someone told me that. They said, you fucking exposed him. He lost his job because of you. And I'm like, God damn. That's the stuff they I'd be a, a reason to hate me so much, though, wouldn't it? If I fucking exposed him somehow over the last 12 years of exposing idiots. I'm just 
you know what I mean? So, so what happened when Navin did this big exposure on Mouse? So what exactly happened to Mouse? Because from what I understand, he's still on the internet. He's no, there wasn't one person that exposed Mouse. Not one person. Uh, I think it was Sentinel or somebody was like that came out and bought the records at the beginning and got the like 97 fucking pages or something. There was like a whole shit of pages. So nobody could read it all. Everybody started posting about rap back then. Everybody. Because just like Black National Freedom Fighter, did anybody know that fucking some bitch had charges back from... 1988 I, I did I accepted him around I mean I've cussed him out how many times I told him to stick something up his you know what but um, no I've cussed him out a bunch of times but if I don't know it how am I supposed to stand against something I don't know and that boy been everywhere and as far as that boy goes hey New Jersey they're allowed to have sex at 16 years old so everything uh, Black National Freedom Fighter told us was a freaking lie that day he started out with a lie and he lied the whole way through when I questioned him right everything because if the kid was 16 it would have been legal for the kid to have sex voluntarily in New Jersey no matter how old fucking Freedom Fighter would have been so therefore he forced it upon him which made it a first a first degree assault it's not just a sexual assault it's a first degree assault which is a heinous crime in New Jersey because if the kid was either under 16, like the paperwork that has a lot of problems, it's a lot of typos, said the kid was under 16, and if the kid was 16 or over, then he raped the kid, basically, and there's no rape charge in fucking New Jersey. It's called sexual assault. So Black National Freedom Fighter is a freaking monster. He did well, 13 freaking years. Huh? When you, when you was uh, going out at it and you were asking him the questions and exposing him, I was at Crafty for a little bit watching some of it. And then the next day, these motherfuckers tried to act like they got the credit for exposing him, and you are his friend. And I'm like, what the fuck? We were friendly with him, yes. We're friendly with a lot of people. We give everybody due respect when we first come across them. They were trying to take the Pretty credit much. for exposing him when it was you <laughs> that was in there questioning Crafty Cat. Yeah. You were the one questioning him, and you're the one that was dragging it out of him. And the next day, they acted like they're the ones that did that, and that you were his buddy. Well, if they went for it with the paperwork they had, the paperwork said he did three years. It's a typo because he told us he did 13 years. And in order to get 13 years of time, either he had to kill somebody when he was in there because murderers get about that kind of time. Or he got sentenced to a 15 to 20 year bid because that's what the maximum first degree sexual assault gets in uh, North uh, New Jersey, which is the worst of the worst. And that's what he got, or he wouldn't have did 13 freaking years. So he got charged with the worst of the worst sexual assault crime you can get. And he pled guilty. He said he didn't even plea bargain. Right, so and Gavin pled. and his crew were trying to say that they're the ones. That well, they come up with the information, but they didn't get, they don't get none of the information out of these people. You have to ask these people questions, you know, and they're going to lie to you. Everything they say is going to be a lie. And you got to keep asking them different ways. You got to try to be nice to them. You got to try to don't get them too mad. They'll leave the room and drop. You got to. You know, oh, wait a minute, I'm just asking, you know what I mean? It's a, it's the way you have to do it if you want the information. Nagin thinks he can just come out and attack people, cuss them out and make up lies, and that's how he attacks people, like he would on a phone call if he was trying to call somebody and harass them. Same shit he does to people on the Internet, but it doesn't work like that. It just shows what kind of fool Nagin is, and then all the people that follow that group, well, why do you expect they got the boy over there giving them the pedo pesos? Girl got over 10 grand from a fucking head. Correct. Where's huh. Nabin on that? Why is Nabin screaming at the rooftop? That's what I meant when I said his credibility is got. When you don't say obvious stuff, even because it's your friend. Oh, he, he says I stood beside these these pedos. I've never been to Texas or Colorado around rat. How the hell would I ever stand beside that piece of shit? So what Nabin would have to say then that swag didn't bother to run this guy's name before she took ten thousand dollars uh invited this motherfucker to her house instead of a gas station a hotel anywhere but and had to hand deliver a four and a half thousand dollar check this one time but and you think he, after he gave all that money she didn't she didn't give something up when he brought that forty seven hundred dollars you know damn well she gave something up so what i my question for navin would be um wouldn't you say navin that a phone call you should make is probably to the fathers of all of her children. Because she put her children in very real danger for the almighty dollar. Because there's no one to blame but her. She's not a fucking victim. She invited the motherfucker. 
regardless if she knew or she didn't. She invited hey. a strange man to her fucking home rather than anywhere else. She. I never. Hey, check this out too. I never see them doing a story like the one of the mayor out there, forty miles south of Chicago, who, who got a guy that she put in office as a code enforcement agent officer, and he did twenty five out of fifty years for violently raping and beating the fourteen year old girls with boards, and um, he he got put into office out there in Chicago as a as a code enforcement. The code enforcement down in Florida, he was videotaping himself doing his dogs. I mean, why don't I ever see any of these guys go after this type of shit in government that's fucking really sick? But they want to go after somebody like Rick Crude over there. He's got fucking hardly anything. And he lost his leg and he's trying to get it. You know what I mean? And they want to go after somebody like Rick. But that means they stand up for all these crooked government officials. Huh? Well, did you catch the first part what Navin did? No, I didn't hear that. No, I yeah. fear he tried to get Rick in trouble uh, somehow. Oh, you know, he came up just to tell Rick that because Rick was trying to get some organization to help him get some repairs around the house. And Navin came up here just to let Rick know that Navin called that place to make sure they knew that Rick didn't outright own the house so that Rick would be disqualified from getting their services so he could help somebody else get the services. So he came up here just to tell Rick that he fucked him over. Yeah, that's, 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 that just shows how he is. The rest of the world needs to take that, chop that clip out and make a short out of it and put it up on your video for the world to see that this is the type of person that wants to act like they're a good guy. That's not you good see what I mean? He wants to think he's a good person. In his mind, how in the hell could he think he's a good person to go after someone who's basically disabled? Do you know what I'm saying? And as far as, um, yeah, I, I first found out about that Hansel and, or that um, that one law the other day, but I found about it on, on Fresh and Fit's page. I don't know if you knew Fresh and Fit are. If you don't, you might not want to type it in. It's all one word, fresh and fit. It'll And Nagin acts just like these little 304 girls on fresh and fit. That's why I, I call them the 304. If, huh? if Navin is so right, right, PDF? We're, we're going to go off the, the hypothetical that Navin is right. So, Navin, that would mean I would probably be right to call down to Florida and make them aware of a, of a woman who invited a child molester to her home to receive cash. She'll do it again, probably, if somebody offers her more money, huh? Right, so... What if that guy offers us another five grand, but he'll say, keep this on the down low where nobody knows. Maybe I got another five grand for you, girl. Show that... You know, can protect uh? her innocent children? Because yeah, it, it actually happened. It actually happened. And that, she happened. put her, her kid's life in danger there, didn't she? Mm. Never, See, that's not the way it's supposed right. to be. Yeah, you know, I would rather help her say, hey, look, next time you want to get you a piece of ass and some free money, you might want to just go get you a no fans page because you can show your butthole for four ninety nine a month. Well, I'm just going to do what, you know, Navin thinks is right. Since Navin, you know, he thought it was wrong that Ricky would actually get help because he's handicapped. Well... It's definitely wrong that Swag... Well, you could tell him your name is Navin Johnson Navin from the YouTube channel. You could tell him your name's Navin Johnson, yes. Where her children live. Who cares if they're at school? She could have been met at the fucking Wawa. Nope. She endangered her children's safety and invited a child molester to her home. And I'm talking $4,700 here. Hey, we talking 4700 dollars Jack. 10.5 10. after said done. Ooh, what if she got the taxes on that? I'm going to have to... Um, go Is she on Social Security Disability? Does she get food stamps? Because she would have to declare all that money, wouldn't she? And pay taxes, too. She huh? got baby daddy. She doesn't have to support them. She gave birth to them, don't you know? She lives on South Port, Jackson. So those fathers... Read his dance outside. You wouldn't believe this. Steph likes to call baby daddies, too. So I think baby daddies need to be aware... That, that mommy invited a chomo to their house. Look who's back. You see who's back? Hi, Look at him. Where are you Get away from me before I have to hurt you. He Look at him. He's covered in mud. Black. He fed to the river. Look at him. He's having a bomb. You're not coming in my house. You better take your ass up under the porch, boy. Go on, get your ass up out of here. Go on, get, get. <laughs> Look at that mother. He covered him up. Yeah, get away from me. Son of a bitch. Hey, I was cutting off the roof metal 
old nagging says, why he, he tells me how to do a roof. He don't know nothing about no damn roof. Oh, he's that for everything. Yeah. I bet he knows how to do Mr.'s job better, Mr. Hey, I didn't see him out here helping me cutting all this fucking wood up. I, just, I wondering where the guy was I hired because he never right. showed up except said, for to help me cut it down. Guy, stick his hands out, turn him over. He ain't got no working hand. Just smooth as a baby's ass. Guarantee it. Yeah. That motherfucker don't know how to have shit right, let alone anything else. He ain't fooling me. We got a nice sunset going down over there in the distance. No I clouds. So it's I'm not worried about the innocent kids, and I feel like the baby daddies really should be made aware that that baby mama invited a pedo to the fucking house and was taking a whole kind of money from him. I mean, yeah. he's putting their children in danger. Aren't you, Swag? I mean, that's the right thing to do, right, Nevin? Well, see, I was saying this the other day. If you're going to hang out in a room with a bunch of people like Tonic, I mean, he's scum of the earth. I hate to say it. That boy's scum of the earth. And if you're going to hang out with a bunch of people that are just like him, why would they not expect people like the, the pedo dude to come in there and start right. buddying up and giving well, them money? money? I mean, they take you know? money from him. As long as they know it's a chomo, it's okay to take money from him. It's okay to say. That's it. The ones that come around <laughs> us, like... You're not emotion on that one. That's actually their words. Well, look at Freedom Fighter. He buddied up with us, but he's been around since 2015. You know, he got beat up by the cops. He only got like 10 grand, and the lawyer kept it all but three grand on that lawsuit he had in 2015 that I just found out about the other day. I didn't know about any of that. I knew he had a suit, but I never knew nothing about it until I started researching him a little bit. We got videos of him working in a restaurant, in a kitchen, washing dishes, and we got a lot of information about him. That uh, if Nagin would have, you know, they are just trying to make me look bad. Oh, dirt farmer hanging out with this guy. But if they'd have did it right, we could have got all the information. We could have asked some serious questions. We got could have got to the bottom of it. But yeah, I did the best I could. It's what I do. I try to expose these people, but I want to make them expose themselves. Some of them might have a story one day that we can swallow. But so far, I ain't heard one yet. Anybody that believes Navin and Gator are together, you're fucking stupid. Here's your sign. Well, that's what I'm saying. Out of all the fucking freaks that we've exposed or ex got exposed out here and we've helped, you know, question and all that, I've never heard one of them have a story that I could accept as, well, you're not what they're saying you are. Because every well, one of them... The is, you know, there's all kinds of uh, links and, and screenshots of uh, Tonic the Rapist talking to children on Facebook, and they're trying to make rebel out to be some kind of groomer who plays video games non-fucking stop tonic the rapist does not rebel tonic does yeah that's why i said they're all into these games too these little kid games and they're in their 30s and 40s i'm like wait a minute shouldn't they Hentai be working and hentai porn <laughs> yeah corrosive we've seen the parties you take your kids to but and what that one guy said about um, Game Over, he said, I don't know if this is true, but the one boy in the chat, and I got the clip to prove it, said that the reason Game Over disappeared because AC got him to show him his pecker, and he got embarrassed about it, so he left the internet forever. What? Because AC kept bug bugging him, kept bugging him and bugging him to show him his dick. And finally Game Over showed AC his dick, and then, um, then fucking he got embarrassed, I guess, and he left. I got the clip, man. The dude said it. Huh? It the dude said it. He was on a panel saying it too the other day. I was like, "Holy shit! What the hell?" I never. I wonder what happened to Game Boy. So, huh? So AC's gay. What you say? Well, everybody knows that. Well, he's, he's a wannabe. Gay. He's a wannabe. But what man would want him? Hell, ain't a woman would want him. Look at him. The motherfucker's like four hundred goddamn pounds. I just thought he was real life. He would fucking laugh at that motherfucker. I would laugh at that motherfucker. I would clown this shit. And if he can't get a woman, he wants to be one. I don't fucking know. Hell. I would go down there just to fucking dick that motherfucker out. I should. If I'm ever in Texas, I guarantee it, AC. You can bring your little fist to it, bitch. But you won't get fucking hey. blurred assaulted by a woman. That's what's gonna happen. Ball and stop us. Let me get my wife and my daughter. Mm -hmm. I always travel with a security guard. Big old motherfucker, too. <clears throat> Bunch of pussies. It's like I got a hole in my fucking wall down. Jail. I bet you that's where go to is. Fucking jail. Does anybody give a fuck? Nope. Either that or he OD'd, because the one time he disappeared, he said he OD'd. He was gone for a week or so. Came back and said he was on, he overdosed. Well, maybe this one, I heard he took it too far this time. 
They all got hey. there in common. It's crazy. They're shit. Hey, I'm going to sit up here on the roof. I'm going to sit here on the roof and wait for a hurricane. What you think? Here we go. Hold on tight, buddy. Get a little tiny tree to hold. I ain't got my chair, though. I forgot my chair. Shit, I got to go back down. Fuck. The ladder fell. What am I going to do? Ah. Watch out for the propane tank. What a dumbass. I like how Nagin says, oh, you, he knows everything I do. Hey, look, though, it's about done. I got to paint it yet. I got to paint it white or silver. I'm not sure which color. Because the roof ceiling on that. Oh, yeah. you missed all the fun. No, I was watching it. I, I couldn't get an edge in, the, you know, worded edgewise. <laughs> I was up there, so I was like, fuck it. I love an opportunity to point and laugh at Navin. It drives him crazy. He starts to stutter. PDF, yeah, clean that property up, goddammit. I know it, man. Somebody ought to come help me. No, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. Reaper, get down there and fucking help him. God damn. That used to be my porch. <laughs> hey, this is what's left of my porch. <laughs> That's a lot of they look, like, they look like some scrap metal around there. Let's Man, I'm seeing a shitload of them. What are you talking about? Fucking thing went up there. It destroyed yeah. the well house back there, too. The tree landed way back there. That's how far back the tree went. Busted all that up out there, too. So the well house is destroyed. The fucking the shed was destroyed, and the porch is totally gone. PDF, what the fuck was you talking about in chat? I blocked you. What the fuck you talking about? He was up on a panel the other day, fucking uh, in, the, in the lead show, the lead spot. Nah, man, I, that must have been someone else because I haven't, I don't, I'm not even a mod in someone's shit. The only one I'm a mod in someone's shit is Hux. What are you talking about? You're a mod here. What's that, Reed? You're a mod in here. Going? You was on a panel the other day, right? The, I, the only panel I've been on is Hux. Okay, well, maybe it was somebody else. Hey, I'm getting I, old. My brain's sick. Yeah, I sure you. I like you. I wouldn't block you. Uh, maybe it was somebody you. else. Hey, there's a lot of names yeah. out here. Probably was somebody like yours. I mean, nah, uh, yeah, bad, sad to say, it actually has been a lot of people that have been stealing other people's names and shit. Oh, yeah. Well, P PDF knows all about that. Well, listen, me oh, and PDF yeah, have been through that about a billion times. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. I had somebody trying to use my name and shit for the fucking goddamn same reason, and I don't go to these people's panels that they were talking about. Hell, I didn't even know they existed. No one wants to steal my name for some reason. I don't know why. What, what yeah, are you doing? I am the. I, <laughs> okay, fair warning, people out there. Warning. There's a wicked case of Hawkeyeitis going around, very contagious, and there is no cure. Stay away from anybody that is inflicted. All right? well, there's also a wicked case of hepatitis. I guess Steph probably got it. Needles, you know. <laughs> Don't share needles, folks. Yeah, and remember when she fell out of the chair that night? It was it was that over there. Thanks to you, I laughed so hard being my stomach hurt. I'll never forget that night. That was funny as hell. Yeah, you, can't, yeah, you can't explain that away. You know what I mean? That was a good one. Right? I was still doing her nails. I don't know anybody that snorts the powder. That's a new one to me. <laughs> You know, I like the best when we're looking at people with glasses and you zoom in their glasses and you see their cocaine mirror sitting on the fucking table with their glasses. Right. We've done that yeah, how many times after. The card's sitting there still. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you see the mirror. <laughs> razor blade laying there in the straw and their glasses. I'm like, these people are just stupid. Well, what do you expect to me? A man threw away his entire family for a fucking jumped out whore on YouTube. Yeah. That bad. And now he's mad about it. Take it out on everybody else. Weird. Oh, uh, look, Teresa Richard's in the chat. What up, T? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance, Teresa. It's fake anyway, don't you know? That's right, Teresa. It's fake. Hey, she, she loves me one day and hates me the next. Wait a minute. Now, she hates me all the time. Never mind. I can make, you know, I can make <laughs> it some fun. And I can take it on up to Saks Fifth Avenue and have them make Steph look like the fucking fool that she is, but why bother? I ain't that invested. You should, <laughs> you, should you should definitely hang out with Steph. See uh, how that works. Yeah, see how works out. Holly, when they see Steph walk through the doors at Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, they're locking shit up. The cameras are all focused on that fucking thing. <laughs> they ain't dumb. She might fool other people, but nah. That's a fucking junkie. She's gonna steal oh, something. See. 
when I seen Steph the first time and I thought, God dang, I wonder what fucking ass crack looks like over there. If he was in love with her, he's got to be a real handsome fella. Well, she went right from Asmar straight to Bird. Crazy. What? what? I didn't miss that part. She did? Yeah. Bird's okay, yeah keep up, PDF. Keep up. PDF. I've been working. The hurricane took me out for the last couple months. I've been, um, he's, well, I guess I've been paying people. To, I've been paying people, I guess, to cut trees off my roof and stuff. Well, mm. he is so terrified of Swedish sugar. He's got to get an order of protection that he failed at four times. But he's going to come up here and whoop Mr. Box Truck's ass. Oh, that? yeah. And he's afraid of sweet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Laugh at it. Quit it, you fucking idiots. You know what I mean? He is only like four foot something. I remember yeah. when when we watched Bird hanging out with Rat doing audits. Yep, I've got the clip. Yeah, he's real yeah. short. Yeah. That's why I carry a gun. I don't carry weapons around. Yeah, well, you know, everybody says, "Oh, this just to happen to me." But if you really watch it and you see, how comes it's always some six foot six dude jumping up in my face? Well, yeah, about that, about the the pew pews. I mean, I assume that he would be stupid enough to bring one if he did come here, and I hope to God he does. Because Bird Turd, as I've made it quite public several times now, it's uh, illegal federally. You lied on your application to purchase your firearms where it asked you if you used marijuana. You said no, clearly. Because if you had said yes, they wouldn't have sold you the gun because you cannot. Oh, he bought the gun know. after. You know he bought the gun. Yeah, see, you can prove after he, he bought the gun after right. he was already using. Oh, even better. Yeah. There's a video of him using marijuana while shooting guns. Uh, illegal. That's felony. So I hope to God he would show up here with a firearm and then actually use it. You know these people ain't never going to show up. They've been coming to my house for 12 okay. years, and they still ain't got here yet. Man, I... Uh, I hate to break it to them. The, I mean, the stupidest thing in the world, if you got any kind of fucking bad feeling towards and nefarious purposes that you want to be, is my fucking turf. That's the biggest mistake you could ever fucking make. I guarantee fucking it. But if you want to be stupid, come on, man. Better be strong. It won't take but five minutes for the rest of the show. Well, I feel we can roll around out here in cactuses in the front yard. We don't have to use weapons. Well, I don't either. Okay. I don't need a okay. weapon. I got Mister. Yeah. He don't come okay. up here. Yes, Mister's waiting when you come and bitch bring tonic. How many people have threatened to come out here and shoot my dog? Look, Wolverine, he's going to shoot my dogs, have his son shooting my dogs while he's over here. I don't know what he thought I was going to do while he was doing all what he was doing. I guess I was just going to stand there and take it in his mind, but I've been threatened by everybody out here a lot. They all come oh, and get me. I was supposed to wake Mr. Up and tell him that this fool is talking to him. He's not on YouTube. He doesn't hear a word of it. Ain't got a fucking clue. But he'll make quick work of you if you fucking show up. I think everybody out here has been threatened they're coming to get us, haven't we? Right. Pretty much everybody. We've all been threatened that they're coming to get us. I'll wake him up if he shows up. How about that? No, fuck up. Wake me up when they get here. Bring your bitch with you. Make it a party. Who well, if they come in the summer, I'm going to have to have water. But I got a bunch of free water from FEMA when the hurricane hit. I'm hooked up. I got ready. We can eat ready to eat meals. Just put some water and heat it up. We're good to go. We can fight for months out here. I got enough food to supply an army. You know, I just told them the same thing I've said all the time. You got an option. You come here for coffee and conversation like actual fucking adult. You can leave here with a toe tag and a body bag. Your, your choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, but either way, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, like I said, I've had a bunch of people come by here. I've had, I've had a, a bunch of good people come by my house before, so, you know, I'm good with it. You know, I know a lot of good people. The amount of people that are idiots compared to the ones that I know that are really good people out here that I've met throughout the years, I, it far outweighs the good people I know than it does the idiots. These fucking morons on YouTube, the closest they've come to my house is Google Images. Get out of here. Yeah. I can't say yeah. the same for me. I've been pretty close to a lot of your fucking houses. A yeah, but none of y'all. Hey, I'm the only one who has ever threatened to have a whole bunch of transvestite hookers come get me from Canada. <laughs> the only one. The only one. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Actually, Trump, I'm not going to lie to you when you what you just put up on here. Okay? There are a bunch of dumb motherfuckers that would actually be stupid enough to go on somebody else's property thinking they're all that in the bag of dumbass. They are. Yeah. Say, I've seen it, and if you watch the news close enough, 
You'll see that X and X won't happen. It ain't the first time, and it should have fuck ain't the last. I'm sorry to tell y'all. It'd probably be the last if they come down my dirt road if they had nefarious intentions. Well, that's the whole thing. Yes. It happens. It does happen. But I'm not, it doesn't even matter for YouTube or not because it's, I'm always ready for anybody that shows up. It don't matter if it's a YouTube fool. It could be any they fool. You know what I mean? They do it on people's properties. They do it all the time. It ain't nothing new. It's not hard to figure out. I've heard well, it. Not, seen it. Not too long ago, right down the road from us, a guy did something, got pulled over, shot the cop, took off, and drove to the next county over and pulled up in somebody's yard and busted in their house. And he had the, the woman up against the wall. He had shot the man, I guess. And the dog got on the guy that had the woman against the wall. And then the man ended up killing the dude. So this shit all happened in the middle of the night, and they got dogs and guns and everything up in there, and this shit still happened to this, this pe these people. And they didn't know this guy. You see what I mean? It just, it just happened. So you got to be ready all the time. You know what I mean? You don't it's guard them. Even out in the middle of nowhere, when there ain't nobody supposed to be around, you still got your weapons stashed all over. <laughs> no matter what room you're in, you got something. Yeah, you, know? right. <laughs> you got an equalizer, so to speak. Yeah, we're buying property. I can't wait. What are you motherfuckers going to do? You got to come way on my property to get anywhere near my house. Yeah, you leave an axe or a hatchet or something stashed yeah, here and there in a machete. You know what I mean? You never know what you got stashed around your acreage. I have AR-15s. They're more efficient. Yes, that works too. Yes. But hey, um, 50 caliber is 50 caliber. It don't matter if it's gunpowder or air power. Right. Still 50 cal. A well known fact that there are definitely are rifles here. Well known. Can't say you didn't know. Well, I'm not supposed to have firearms, but like I said, air power works. If you don't believe me, look up HDR 50 cal. You'd be like, I gave all of my oh, firearms to uh, Mr. Boxtruck August 1st. And they're felon friendly, air powered pistols. They are. My son yep. has a bunch, but now he has the real thing. <laughs> yeah, you got. If you want to look it up, Trump said, look it up. It's on, been on the news. I don't know how many goddamn times. You're welcome anytime, Trump. And yes, and that and you're sitting there saying you're willing to talk to somebody on public property. I'm not right. sorry. I'm sorry to say that's happened even doing that too. I stopped him. Heard about it not that long ago. Somebody pulled up on a dude at a fucking gas station. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Noise, and they shot the motherfucker on the side. I did it to you. I pulled up. Hey, I ate the hostess apple pie and I left. They shot and killed that predator catcher guy that was stabbing the tires. He caught one of the, he, he seen a couple of these dudes that were across the border people, and he had said something to the one. The other one pulled the gun out and killed him. He was that one dude that was out here. Um, stabbing the tires of the predators because the cops wouldn't do nothing to him so when he got the predators over there he just walked over and give him he called me he was gonna give him a four piece which means flatten all four tires right mm -hmm. and um, they just killed him not about a month or so ago some people from across the border constantly it's not a, it's not something you're gonna hear on the news all the time every goddamn time because until tell you the truth that's all they'd be seeing on the news but it gets national when it when that person gets uh Basically figure it out and whatever not. A lot of times they'll put it out on the air. In newspapers in every goddamn state. That ain't enough. They ain't having normalcy. Like I tell you, there's some people will do something and some people won't. Some people hey, just talk a lot of shit. Honey, like there are some really crazy ass people here. Yeah, yeah it's that fucking yeah. cop day tomorrow. Uh, I have called the cop day today. Who was that? The British like two three holiday? Uh, oh shit, I can't say it's Bufa or Bufa or Bufa. Fuck, I can't remember the name. I'm terrible with names. It was B O O something. Oh, I don't know. Who's that? Mad Max knows about him. I had to get a hold of Max. Max could tell me. I could find it. I mean, if I went on the internet, I could find it. But um, yeah, What's that happened. That was he big? <laughs> yeah, he was a pretty big auditor. I mean, not auditor. He's a uh, predator catcher. He's a predator hunter. And um, they, the, the one kid that when he approached him at like a fair or something, the way I understand the news story went, you can find it as you research. It was in um, uh, Detroit, Michigan area, Michigan area. So, but I guess he approached one of the people that he had already exposed and the other guy that was with him, another Spanish guy, pulled his gun out and shot him a bunch of times and killed him. And they caught the guys that did it too. So it, like I said, it's a big story. Wow. It's easy to find, you know, predator catcher shot. 
Yeah. You never thought they'd do it right there at a fair, you know, either whatever, right there in public. So you meet somebody in public, that don't mean shit in this day and age because you meet them in a public place. That's true. People don't care. They don't give a shit. They think they can just do what they want, man. I mean, look how people like Megan act. I mean, everybody knows you ain't supposed to act like that guy acts, man. I mean, think about it. Everybody with a brain says, God damn, look at this crazy bastard. You know, all the shit he talks about it, everybody. He don't care. He just stirs shit. He just likes to star shit. And, but he's not even good at it. No, he sounds like a, I don't know, 20-year-old kid fresh out of college. Hey, I remember years ago one time when he, they were all hanging out with, what was his name, the other candidate, dude? 10th man, dude. And I pissed 10th man off so bad that day. he come out and he said, that fucking Florida farmer, he pissed me off more than anybody ever on the internet before. And then I realized he did it to me on purpose. He said, that pissed him off even more. That was like my golden moment right there. I said, you know what? That was good. I loved it. I loved knowing that. I loved. I wish I had that clip when he said that. Back then, we didn't have the hard drive space to store all this shit like we do now. You know, but it was funny because... Fuck it. If I could piss these idiots off, bet I'm gonna do it. Well, I was loving you, you Sarah. Yeah, you're attacking there. good people. Yeah. You know? He gave you that warm, fuzzy feeling inside? Well, they told me, you piss people off a lot. You're good at pissing people off. I said, well, then fuck, I should do what I'm good at, huh? Ain't that what the goal is? Not what they said. If I'm good at it, let's do it. But I'm gonna make sure the right people get my rash. <laughs> well, you know certainly I mean? don't keep doing shit you're bad at, right? That's it. That's it. Oh, I'm just getting people, better. I mean, I don't even get warmed up. I feel like it's like around. the CB yep, days you know. to me. I don't know if y'all old enough to know the CB radio days. You get out there you know, and talk the over people bees. and cuss each other out all night long. You know, long. the guy that stood up and married at 23 years with his wife, did, Barbara. People did threaten to come to your house back then. Sometimes people did, but very rarely. I still remember people that drawed up there. She fucking told get one. Fucking people are crying at Christmas Eve like a little bitch. For an hour long. Oh, she does be crying. I'm all the way home. I miss that shit, you know? Nah, There's that some that CD radios on YouTube, too. These big guys big got big old fucking room full of <laughs> radios and shit. And Jeff is here, and see, Tyron Hunter got a CD radio channel, too. Yeah. He got a big old box sitting up in there. Yeah, I heard he's got it. I heard he's got it. Last time I heard it, he's got, you know, he's got his own business. Like, wagers his own, on which one he's of these fools is going to snap first. He's got a chick nowadays. Well, I just think it's funny how they all go after each other. They all say yeah, people like Rebel has a mental illness, and then they all go after him. And then somebody like Katie shows up, and then she goes after him. And I'm like, God damn, what? They just go after the weakest guy in the team, you know, the weakest link. It's like, we won three hours ago, right? Uh, right. Two days ago, four, a month ago, a month ago, two. Right? Hey, she's Make it make sense, folks. Maybe they'll just put up a video for us of Katie. Katie. Come come on, a year ago. If they get attacked, they're going to be mentally challenged. Yep. Then that right. So, why would you go after someone as oh, if you're what, admitting what, that you're saying is mentally challenged or has mental you know, issues? No, you're why would that be the hilarious. person that everybody goes after? All these good people of society like Nag and Johnson, right. them yeah, type of people. You know what I'm saying? They all go after the people with mental illnesses. Yes, it's a plea. Okay, so they start doing that, right? These good people are. Yeah, he still lives in Manassas, Virginia. But if Rebel attacks Katie, it's wrong because she has mental illness. Katie attacked me from the beginning. They're insane. They're insane. Katie attacked me from the beginning. I never said two words to her. She out there running her mouth about me one day. And I'm like, what the hell? Where'd she hear all this shit from? I said, oh, fucking nagging. Looks like you made a video. I ignored her. She was saying yeah. to me and I ignored her. Looks it like you were filming a hundred bucket. <laughs> Katie, you're nagging's parrot. That's what you're <laughs> doing. I ignored her. Oh, I got to see this. And I'm going to keep doing it, bitch. Cunty, don't worry about me, bitch. If I start getting after you, I'm not going to be good, honey. Because I'm going to make an example out of you for nagging. Well, that's what I tried to tell these guys. You know why the other Katie made such a big channel, Master of Reports? You know why she made such a huge channel? And, she, you know, she might not even be the most liked person on YouTube or on the Internet. But the reason her channel grew so good to me, and if you could prove me wrong, I'd like to hear it. But um, it's because anytime anybody sent her information, the like they did nagging, it's like just, just you know, YouTube shit, they, they even she went and got filed and got the form from the courthouse the the actual document. She bad. never used what people gave her, in my opinion, again. Well, I can't say always, but most of the time when I watched what she did, which I don't watch her much, 
But um, that's what she did. And that's what I thought. I was like, that's the way you want to be. You want to make sure you got the facts and the factual records with a document number. That's what I did. Otherwise, it's just bullshit. Because yeah. if you have actual factual documents to back up what you're saying, it's not fucking complete and utter bullshit. Exactly. And I but think that's why her channel group. group. Right. This group, it doesn't matter how many of those documents I show. Oh, no. Fuck bullshit. no. They just sitting there yeah. fighting hunch over you and blow out. Shit. They are miserable fucking human beings. I will sit back, point, and laugh at them. That's, that's, Absolutely. Dude, it's that one was to me. disgusting. I'm, I'm Fuck. Bored. But they're never going to change the down the, down the golf course are much cleaner than that one. You're not free. Like, they will target you eventually. Everybody gets a turn. Just wait. If you think oh, they've always said, how many times I said they're like cannibals. They'll cannibalize yeah. each other. I'll just give them a minute. <laughs> like a bunch of cannibals going around. I mean, I mean, I can't be bought. I'm better at finding info than they all are combined. <laughs> And Let's see I'm what beef cook so I try I'm to stick to the good amazing. people, you know. Hey, like I said, I try to stick to the good people, people that have good values, you know. And I've cussed out pretty much everybody. I mean, because if, it, if we have a problem with each other, we should cuss each other out. We can't be over there hey, hey, nitpicking, you know what I mean? But we, it's hey, like fuck that, fuck you. Table. If you're going to be friends, you, you can be friends after you give each other hell. Well, Otherwise, you're, like, you're just friendly with the person until one thing happens. After you know, ten years, you're the best of friends, and then one thing happens, and the person gets mad at the person over something stupid. I never did understand that, but that happens a lot out here. The one that baffles me is the fact the that fuck? people you got really that truly chicken. believe that this is fucking reality. Like if they do something on here, that is the end all get all. It well, means absolutely it nothing. It means nothing. It's YouTube. You can call all my fucking neighbors. I don't give a fuck. What can you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And why would you want to? Because you can't handle the words that were spoke truly about you on YouTube. Aw, you're a bitch. Why don't you attack men, little boy? You don't. Well, you know the funniest part? Here's one. Here's a prime example of how they do it. You know, they try to say that what the one boy that I took his commercial money, old Beard, to Dr. Beard Dave, because he fucked with me. And I said, well, I'm going to take your damn commercials off your channel. Well, he was saying that. And that is. Well, I did. I told him, I said, I'm going to put strikes on you. Ajax can't get off. I said, and I'm going to take your commercial money. You ain't going to have that no more. And um, three days later, he over there on fucking Joey the Airplugs page talking about fucking Dirt Farmer put strikes on me. I can't get off. And, and they took my damn commercials away. <laughs> I ain't got no beer money. I thought, I warned you, boy. I know terms of service like the back of my fucking hand. And when these people cut, every single video on YouTube can be struck. Every single one can be struck. If you know what you're doing. Fuck these fucking people, I just don't give a fuck. Damn, B-boy. Thank you. Whatever they want at me, I don't fucking care. I've been swatting six fucking times, man. All I don't give a shit. But you can keep trying, you pathetic little fucking losers, and I'm going to keep smiling. Every day. What are they going to do? Show up and get themselves hurt. They know that. Or they could show up and have a conversation, or they could show up and bring a set of boxing gloves, put them on, stand there and duke it out like men. Right. You I mean, know, they, they hurt each other, but you could, you could get some anxiety. Huh? They continually say how oh, they're going to pull up to my fucking house. They're going to come to my fucking house to this and that. But I can't say, okay, well, when you do, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Uh, the fuck well, that's what they want you to do. They want you to respond. So I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. But, yeah, you just laugh at them and say, okay, come get you some, boy. And then you don't say nothing else and you just let it slide. Cause I'm going to tell you right now, if you tell me my brother, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. And they're like, did you hear that? Huck said she was going to beat me up. You got damn right. Oh, check it out. Him. Here's Scum Ring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that. If Call you tell with me, the you detective of the Brookfield M.A. Police. Two five ways to try it. Fucking so Scum Ring. <laughs> That's what I say. Prove it. Hold up so I can beat the fuck out of you. On camera, because I got cameras everywhere. I need to get scraped okay. off my fucking road and sent to the hospital and I'll go back inside. Because you, a stranger to me, showed up to my fucking property wanting to throw down. And you got your ass kicked. Hey, if I, hey if I put a cigarette out on you, well, that, well, we won't go there. We won't go there. Never mind. Man, it would be so funny. It's like Mr. Noctra is picking up these little fucking midgets and tossing them around the fucking yard one after the next. For fun. Oh, I, 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 should go, hey, I should go troll that guy. 
fucking old Gary Snow piece of crap. Somebody was saying something about him the other day. Say, yeah, I need to go charge oh, that wow. piece of shit. Here's a, here's a good one here. They say, he tried Someone to have me charge. Tommy Scummish. He charges on me for putting a cigarette out on his hand down in Punta Gorda. With all that you have been harassing her online and posting pictures and exposing things that she did far in her past. No, this is a different one. This is the real old Gary Snow. He's a face. This guy goes around, and it doesn't matter what type of event it is. He'll be on the opposite side and go in there and start to try to start problems with people to get them to hit him so they can get him arrested for his Page. Shay, he's, he's, good he's guy, an instigator, John. and he's in all yeah. kinds of news stories. There's then you lawyers got cool boys about Scotty this guy. And puppy he'll go to it like a black people's function, and he'll start using the N word and stand right oh. beside the cops. And then when somebody walks up to him, they get arrested when they attack him. Uh, and then he gets to make videos of this shit. Yeah, the police love him. Uh, smart people, he's a real me. piece of shit. No, it's not Gary Snowflake, it's just Gary Snow. The People's Patriot is the name of this piece of shit channel. Nagging buddies with him. Nagging's friends with him. That's what we would do. Yeah, Nagging's buddies with that guy. Smart motherfucker can't shoot at Wawa, buddy. Agent for Vosteria, he's the definition of it, Bills. Definitely. I can't do that right from the police. I wonder if it's going to be the same I'll catch it well. Talk about the district attorney. They should arrest him for using the N word. Oh. And then the dude in Jacksonville, yeah. I guess, was going to hit him. And the cops arrested the black dude. And he was all up in this dude's face yeah, using the N word. It's all on video. I mean, I've seen this shit. But I didn't know nothing about that guy yeah. until after my. He had tried to attack me down in fucking South Florida that one time. We was down there for a protest. And um, he tried to hit me in the face, I thought. And I put my hand up. And I had a cigarette in my hand. And his hand hit the cigarette. I didn't really put it out on his hand, you, but he tried to make a big deal and called the cops and was pressing charges on me and all that shit. And I saw him with a deadly weapon. And, you know what I mean? it's like, and we had a video camera was the best part that nobody knew. Yeah. Somebody Dude, that I know real well are harassing had, a, had a tripod yeah. with a camera yeah, Nate, Nate filming Fox. the side view of the whole thing when it happened. And it proves everything I, mean, I said. Why? why so why I tried to Nate? press charges because back that, on him. I said, well, fuck, they're going to press charges on me. I want to press charges back. I got the video proof. Nate made John the moderator. And the prosecutor wouldn't let me press charges and wouldn't let him press charges on me either. So, you know. Two different guys. No, it's just one dude that attacked me. He came over and tried to hit me in the face with his finger. I thought he was shooting the bird, but when he swung his face, his, fa his hand was coming like Gary Snow. Yeah, that's the dude that attacked me. There's two different Garys, though. Yeah, there's one called Gary Snowflake. He's dead. He used to be a uh, go after the auditors and put people down, and stuff like that. He was a big channel too. Yeah, that's what I heard that video. Know. Yeah, he's dead. That's what I. That's what I thought. I didn't know there was two of them until this dude attacked me, basically. But you know, it didn't work out well for him. The other one's the only one I heard of. I'm like, huh? There's another one. <laughs> Why do they all got the same damn name? That's his real name. The other guy was a YouTube channel. Oh, his name is Gary Snow? Snowflake and Snow, yeah, Snow, Gary Snow. Yeah. You had to be oh, Gary oh Snow. I, know what he, I know what this binary yeah. is talking about. Yeah, he's Don't talking about when Court Dirt Farmer put, put a lit cigarette on, on that, that Gary Snow guy. I, I remember that, I have a clip of that. I could go it's on my channel. He did. Ooh. He fucking ooh, put ooh, up a lit ooh, cigarette ooh, up on that dude. That'd yeah. Be dastardly, wouldn't it? Don't lie about that fucking PDF. You did. You fucking put a lit cigarette in that fucking dude's it's fucking right hand. You, you put it right in his hand. Burn his hand. YouTube money. <laughs> I think that Molly and Reaper died. No, I'm not dead. Yeah, yeah it's Gary Snow. snow. Yep. You talk, I'm looking at Molly and Reaper. I can think about his mustache. It's called the issue of that political protest. And what did Gary Snow do to fucking PDF? I Nothing. I talk a lot of trash, but what I say when I say I'm going to do something, I usually do it. Me too. Everybody knows that about me, but I don't want people that don't deserve to be fucked with. I really never have. Maddie or whatever? And I never stuck up for that piece of shit rat. I helped expose that piece of shit. Yeah, you did. You had that fucking piece of shit rat in your pal. Don't fucking lie, P.E.F. How many times have you had the rat on your pal? You had the rat on your pal the day after he lost the three panels. You let, they make me you sound like I said something I didn't. You were trying to get legal advice. I sued 303 and Bird. It's like a fucking Remember that num -num? hole for yeah. me. Because yeah. anybody that will look at that video and believe it, I know they're an idiot. They ain't got a brain. There's no possible way they do. So that excludes all the idiots from hanging around me right from the start. You see what I mean? It's, it's, like, a, it's like my I mean, how many, time, I mean, how many places have you been trespassed? Oh, a couple city halls, a cop shops. 
You got trespassing yes. on a pizza bar, and your and bitch ass got trespassing on the Dollar Tree. <laughs> French's cheap That's stuff. Right. You know what? I bought some Heinz fucking yellow mustard, man. And I'm tell you what, I fucking take the little thing off. I shook. The I mean, shit you out gotta do something really fucked up to get trespassed on the Dollar Tree. I, that shit I mean, what place? What, what, what like, place? How do you trespass? Walmart? Uh, Safeway? <laughs> And Heinz is a little Oh, it's just maritime where he gets dressed up from Walmart. I can't eat this hot dog now, because I don't know. He'd be like, I'll show you about you see. Go fuck yourself. Have fuck up, say. Fire, please. Yeah, good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. He ain't coming in. He's staying out. Did you see how dirty that son bitch was? Covered in black mud. He's cake. They've been gone place. since this morning. They left right, early yeah. this morning. They he just had, got I mean, back. It's you had ran on your piano. Oh, oh this is a chance to be yourself, right? Daylight. You got new for the children. Mouth got new for the children. The yeah, this is the same guy say, hey, guys, it's not a problem to sniff a pair of panties. It's not hey, illegal to be sniffing a pair of panties, even if it's a little girl's pair of panties. I don't know if they can buy the food. Yeah, you know what he was doing? He was defending That's fucking like, Too Tall Raw when yeah, Too Tall Raw would say it was perfectly okay when a sheriff officer was sniffing a little girl's pair of panties. I got to go, too. I'm glad I didn't start too much shit, but I had fun. It, so did I. I ain't no start no shit. Everybody got what they had off their chest. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, like I got, I like getting nagging to run his mouth because he goes from one subject to another. He's, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's, yeah, he does it a lot. It's funny, he can't stay on one track, but hey, appreciate you, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. You have a good one. Oh, with that said, I'm out here, my job. Peace out. Whoa, that was a good one. I'm glad I found this one. <laughs>